Do I introduce myself? Hi, host Eric here, host talking to people, and this is famous person Ray over here drawing by the microphone underneath <laughs> the light. <laughs> Hi, how are you? And I've been chatting with him this evening, <laughs> no, I'm and great. I have concluded, I think, he's an ENTP. We shall see. And I would like to have him now just give the give a biography, autobiography of Ray from ages seven through present. You can skip your first six years. Ooh, seven. Ooh skip my first six years? Yeah, while you're telling this autobiography, yeah. I'm going to go find my cigarettes. Go ahead and find your cigarettes. Seven to 13. You said I could skip the first three years. Seven okay. to the present. Oh, seven. To, my bad. Because you said it skipped uh, six years. I got, I got 13. Years. Okay. Zero through six. Zero through six. You want me to go through zero through six, or do you want oh, me to I want skip? You to skip zero through oh six. my bad. Oh go okay. I go that makes seven sense. through present. Seven through present. Let me see. Oh, something interesting happened when I was seven. Um, actually, I uh, when I was seven, I uh, I was living with my mom, and I actually I got separated from her. And I'm not gonna go into detail about how that happened, but uh, I lived with my grandma since then, and I lived with her, you know, since I was seven, and I went to school. I, I actually started school in a Catholic school, which is quite interesting because now I'm not religious. It's not interesting. I'm just not interested. That's not really relevant, but it's just a fact. Um, now, let's see. Seven. <laughs> I can't really remember much about my childhood. I just remember I was a I was a very I was overweight when I was young, so it was not the most enjoyable childhood. But I mean, I had friends. It was cool. Like school was all right. Like I liked it. It was cool. Homework was gay, and like but tests were easy, so it wasn't that bad for me. Like, but uh, I'd say you know really my. My most dense memories and memories I have a lot are probably eighth grade, seventh and eighth grade, and then, you know, going into high school. And seventh and eighth grade, and all while in, you know, Catholic school, I had really cool friends that were actually pretty cool and hanged out. And they were really, like, actually genuine and pretty dope. And it was badass. And uh, I got into high school, and high school was all right. I mean, I got a, I got pretty, uh, high school's whatever. I'm not going to get into why it was whatever, but for the first two years, high school was whatever. And uh, after that, though, my junior and senior year was, uh, was quite fun. You know? I had fun my freshman and sophomore year, but it wasn't that interesting, and there weren't that many cool people, and I didn't do that much. You know, I spent a lot of time playing video games, and that was what I was doing. And then, you know, my junior year, I met... <laughs> I, uh, I went to a different school, actually. I stopped going to Catholic school. I went to public school, finally, my junior year, my 11th grade year, and uh, I met this guy, <laughs> this guy named Abraham, and he's, uh, he's really cool. He's like... Uh, I'm dropping his name, but I'm not gonna drop his last name. But he's really fucking cool, and uh, he, <laughs> he's uh, he's really cool. He's uh, he ended up being like, I'd say he's my best friend. He's uh, he's a pretty awesome guy. I still hang out with him. He was cool, and he uh, he made it so that you know my junior year at that school was really cool. I had a lot of experiences. Went to a lot of like, I became more social. Like I was a, uh, I was hanging out with more people. I was going out. I was doing stuff. I was socialized. I wasn't just you know just doing whatever, playing video games. You know, just waiting, <laughs> not doing much with my life. Uh, and you know, at, up to that point, I didn't have that many friends. It wasn't that cool. I wasn't cool that many people, especially in high school. People changed, and it's just they weren't uh, they weren't the same people. And neither was I. But you know, it's just we went we didn't click or vibe like we used to. It, the vibe was totally different, and it just it wasn't the same. But with him, you know, this was different. It was it was really cool, and that year was really fun. My junior year was you know it was a lot of like self searching, and it was really dope. And uh, what sucked about that though, at the end of that year, I had to leave because uh, because of some unfortunate situations, I had to leave the state. I had to move to Texas, and uh, for my last year, I uh, I went to Texas, and uh, I did my senior year there, and I graduated there, and that year was probably the year that changed me the most, and it was it was an intense, crazy experience, but it was an experience, you know, I'm glad I had because it made me who I am, and it's it was just very it's very interesting, and it, I did you know I found out a lot about myself behind was that year when I was here? Uh, 18. Was it worse than here? No, it's just culture shock, man. But uh, it, in the cold, yeah. It's hot and it's cold. It's about 100... It's 105 in the summer. It's about 32 degrees in the winter. So I'd say it's pretty bad. I didn't get down to about 9 degrees. So it's it's pretty fucking... <laughs> you know, it's... it's it's. Uh, but the people there are very homey and they're very... Uh, they, they know how to be hosts and they know how to, you know... They're very kind. And it's because it, was, it wasn't such a big town and they're really cool. And it's... There wasn't so much to do but that wasn't the point because the people you're around were very caring and they're very interesting people right, and a lot of a good for you. what are and your favorite movies two years later now i'm here <laughs> sorry no you're fine don't worry about it what, what are your favorite movies who my favorite movies my favorite movies would have to be um i like comedy man i really like comedy but i also i like like I like action i know that's generic but i i don't know how to get into like a a, a movie i would really enjoy but like 
just witty like comedies and stuff like that. I'm really into comedy. Like on, I have Netflix and I watch a lot of like stand up and stuff because I enjoy it. And it's nice to be funny, you know. Which Let's sentence do you more identify with? Let's do this. Two sentences. Sentence number one let says, me, "Let me hear it." I'm not fussy. I'm not worried so much about about how. I know I'm going to be cool with whatever goes down over here. I'm, it's not, you know, I'm not fussy. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about those people, their emotions, because those people tend to get upset, and I want to make sure they don't get upset. Okay. Or, I already know the answer to this, just for Barry's sake. Um, and the second one is, um, I don't, those people can take care of their own emotions. Obviously, that, their emotions are theirs. I need to worry about my own emotions. I'm concerned about me. Yeah. Um, I honestly... I more self-identify with the second one, but I'm going to be real honest with you. I self-identified with the first one for a long time and probably, probably not even till the, probably not even so at the end, words, at this the year. One is better. No, I think the second one is what I should focus on because right. it is the, the right one. one. more desirable. It's not. No, I don't think it's more desirable. I think it's, I think it's a better way of looking at yourself, but I don't know. That's just my thought process, but I'm always open to hearing out. He's F.E., Barry. Look, the question is designed to say, are you F.E. or F.I.? I don't I'm know. Gonna, I don't even I, know what you guys hey, are talking I'm about. I'm going to tell you right now. Chill out. I am chill. You don't <laughs> want smoking a cigarette. You chill. Getting all that tar in you, buddy. No, I'm kidding. Let's uh, go. That, does that convince you? Don't, you, don't need to, you don't need to qualify that shit. I'm an to be too. <laughs> it, does it convince you yet? I mean, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. He, is, he does not have any F.I. He's, F.E. This is, is me. Jesus, this is He's like... But he's so always doing epi dances and shit. <laughs> Bob -da -bum. But okay, I want to hear more about your favorite whatevers. My so, favorite whatever. Okay. So what Ask me questions. What kind of? Okay. What what kind of classes did you like at school? Ooh, you, regardless interesting. Regardless if you didn't English. like any or more. Oh, you like English. I love English. Anything where I can I can explain myself and anything to where I can you know give my opinion in a way in a clear way to where I can explain it and I have a lot of room to explain. And I hate math because math does not, I don't hate math. I just don't understand math. And so it, it causes me a lot of distress. And so I don't, I don't like it, but I, it's, I don't like it because I don't understand it. It's not that I don't think it's important. I just, I don't get it. I'm not good at it, but I'm good at like explaining myself. Like I'd say right, history, Eric, English, Eric biology, saying, stuff like Eric's that. Eric's saying you're an ENFP, not an ENTP. Let me, and it's possible. How about we do some more examination? I'm going to more. Before you, we just start dropping you, shit. I will tell you, we're working it out. There's a process here, Bray. All right. So. Tell me, Bray. Huh? Bro, 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 dude, it don't matter. You can call me whatever you want. I just dropped something because it was your, in my What's head. your name? Ray. My name is Ray. That's what I called you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. My name's Raymond, but I, I like Ray. Are there most people that call you Ray? Yeah, people at my work call me Ray, okay. but some people call me Raymond, and it's kind of weird because that's my dad, dude. I'm like a junior, so I'm like, yeah. All right, here. Let me ask you this question. Um, do you have an opinion about... The recent police shootings. Which ones are we talking about? Like, you know, it, it, the, the there's been a lot of pre recent ones. I, I haven't heard about all the recent I'm ones. I'm not talking about any specific one. I'm like saying Trayvon Martin do you have an recent. Opinion? That's pretty old. But do you have any opinion about police behavior in general? Against what? No, just police behavior in general. I I'm gonna be honest. I don't really like police. <laughs> I, but that's, that's only because my interactions with police have always been negative. None right. of them been positive, Next but question. I'm not trying to, exp I'm not hold trying on. to generalize. Hold on. Next question. I know you don't have to do all the F.E. dances. I need to explain. Okay, fine. You do. I get it. I understand. Now, look, I don't feel complete question, if I don't the question explain. I'm going to ask you though, that was just the first part of the question. This actual question is, cool. are you able to, could you convincingly argue that? I don't know how to argue in a, in a clear and concise way, but I would try. The other side that police... When they beat somebody up, it's because it's that person's fault because they must have they must have not followed orders quickly enough or something like that. If uh, if I had a reason to argue that point, I would. But in my own opinion, I wouldn't agree for that. But if I had a reason to argue for that point, I mean, if I had a you reason, I'd be. You could successfully argue it, even though you don't believe in it. There's plenty of points I don't believe in that I feel like I could successfully argue. Do you agree with that position in general? Yeah, I'm trying to be open minded here, but yeah. Do you feel? I'm how trying. Attached, I need to be. Sorry how to say attached trying. are you in general? to a given statement. Are you likely if somebody goes, if, if it appears after you've said a couple things that somebody else feels strongly about something, are you perfectly happy to be like, well, I don't know, I mean, whatever, I don't care. Sure, your way. Um, I'm, 
I'm open to hearing about it, and if 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 they sway me enough, yeah, I might change. I'm not totally deadlocked, and you know, into a certain sentence or into a certain really into any idea really. If if I if I try to say, that's but that's because I think it's interesting y. to think from another perspective. Here, here's a question: It's not X always or y. from a reason, huh? X or Y? X or Y? I like how an X looks, so I'm gonna say X. But Y is also interesting because it has like a curve too, so it's different. They're both interesting, but I say I like X. What would you say if I, like, I said... I'm going to draw an X now. Would you like me to stab you in the head or the chest? Hmm. The head would kill you instantly, but the chest would give you a feeling that you probably never felt before. So it's interesting, too. But if I actually asked you that question, what would you say? Fucking kill me. To put me in the head, don't put me in the chest. That would hurt. I'm not a, sa I'm not a okay, sadist. Okay, Ray. Maybe you should consider saying, I don't want to be stabbed at all. I was under the impression that I was like, you know... Hog tied or something, and there was there was like a murder right. oh, sure. I, I had no I, way I, I to know, kill I him. I know, I know. I am I'm sorry for assuming. I'm very sorry for assuming. Do you see, Barry? Do you see this man. insanity? This is what happens to ENTPs. We get, we get, uh, we just get, we're just like, you know, domestic violence wives or something when we come out of adolescence. Hmm. Interesting way to put this. Paperclip. What's paperclip? mean i don't know what that means i mean i know what paperclip means but i don't know why you have it there <laughs> what could oh what could you use paper clips to make what can you make paper clips to make i used to uh i used to like get pens and shit and break them apart and make like stuff with them like actually like action figures well, what, if like I said, but uh, here's, here's a paper clip paper you clips. could probably how many different things can you make out of them oh, how many different things six paper clips I'm sure I'd be able to make something, but I not off the top of my head. I don't have like a I don't have like a, an idea in my head of what I would make, but I would try to make something if that makes sense. Like six things I would make with a paperclip. See, Eric, see, I don't even know how I'd go about that, so I would have to do it. I can't think about the process before I do it because then I'll start thinking about a bunch of shit. It's kind of unnecessary. I don't even really want to think about it now. I want to do that. Can we get some paperclips? <laughs> I'm in the middle of drawing and I want to do this. I don't want to talk about right stuff. This second, but look, this is the thing, Barry is. Um, I, this is a, a misconception. About You're ENTPs. smiling like you've known me your whole life. It's kind yeah, of funny. A misconception about ENTPs is that we're good with physical object invention or something. We're not. We're terrible with it. He <laughs> we just picture. try. <laughs> he draws pictures the same way I did too, which is he just starts making lines. He has no image in his head of what he's gonna make. He just starts making lines and just see what happens. Um, that that's the same thing with physical objects. Uh, drawing and physical objects are on the same plane, right? So, it's better to say this. How many arguments can you come up with in defense of invading Canada? Invading Canada. Give me as many reasons you can come up with as possible to invade Canada. Jesus Christ. Invade Canada, man. They don't man. have to be good reasons. They have to be good reasons? reasons? Just different reasons. Just different reasons. I think different reasons is possible. Can I be honest? I'm an adult. I enjoy marijuana. They have probably good marijuana. Invade them for some good pot. That's probably not a good investment no, for a reason. Going, but, uh, <laughs> different one. Maybe different as possible. That's one. <laughs> different as possible. Okay, let's see. Invade Canada. As many as possible, each different. You know, I watched a, I watched an episode of South Park once, and they made fun of Canada, and they also they had like war and invaded. And it sounds interesting, so just because it's interesting, I'll just put that a reason. And inter it's interesting. Okay. That's a terrible reason, but it's I'm fine, gonna make it's that fine. reason. It's a distinct reason. What um, else? let's see. Canada looks beautiful. I'd like to own it. It's kind of it's very nice. Not like own it, but maybe like I don't know. Like it'd be cool to yeah, it would be cool to own. Actually, I take that back. It would be cool to own. It's so you really beautiful. Personally, invade Canada and conquer it yourself. Hmm. <laughs> that's three. I like how I assume. I like you see. I assume stuff and then I think, oh shit, can I do uh, that's that? Three. What else? Another I reason to invade like Canada. Uh, another reason to invade Canada. Hmm. Let's think some actual reasons. Uh, I don't know if they're a threat. I'm not really into the news on who's a threat to us. But everyone's uh, a threat, Ray. All right, Canada's I'm not gonna think about that. There's four reasons. Okay, Canada's a threat. Let's see. Another reason why I would want to invade Canada. I gotta think about this. I don't like thinking about stuff because usually it comes right to my head. But let me try and think of an interesting thing. Reason I would invade Canada. Hmm. You know what? I know you want me to come up with more reasons, but uh, my mind went blank, and that usually doesn't happen. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm I, arguing with with. Uh, I don't think I can. With Barry. I don't think I can come up with. Barry words. said you're drunk. I what? Said, the I said, fuck? He's not just drunk. being myself, dude. I know. I just explained this to him. This is INTP going, 
Nobody can be that ENTP. What does that have to do with anything? He's trying to explain why. So it matters if like I'm intoxicated ENTP. or not. If that matters about my personality, it yeah, just brings out your personality it, it more. Make, it would make it hard to. I'm not the it. person who suppresses my personality. It just brings it out more. So if anything, you know, you're just seeing more of me. Like, but it, it definitely would make it harder to type you. But that's not the case. He's not drunk. And no, I'm not drunk at all. Not remotely. I have no alcohol we, for. There's, there's, there's no alcohol in the mix. For about a month, man. I had some Jose Cuervo about a month ago, and it was. <laughs> With a friend from work, and yeah, man, if you've had some tequila, like people complained about, it, and I was like, mm, this is ridiculous. Um, Dr. Nefarious, Doctor Doctor Nefarious, Doctor Nefarious. Hmm. Would you like to, uh, if you're, you don't feel talking to all, but just to make, make sure you're aware, this is a very long question. You'd like, like to you go on, on the mic, mic and the camera, camera and you really need to type to be happy to ask you any questions, or if you just hear it or chat at the time as well. Okay, I'm going to send it. Is it going to be too hot? It might be too hot. Okay, I'll fix that in a second. Um, okay, I know what 